Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and it's been quite a few months since I did an EDC update or discussion of the kind of the gear that I've been carrying most recently. So I figured I'd do one for July and go through some of the, the main blades, the backups, and the bits and pieces that have been occupying my pockets in the last couple of months as we as we go through summer and uh, try and slim down the carry a little bit because you don't want your shorts falling around your ankles unless it's uh, an appropriate time. So you want to try and lighten up your carry a little bit, or at least I do. And uh, I've been trying to do that recently, so I thought we'd go through a few things. And as always, the disclaimer is this is not everything that I carry all the time. I don't have all this junk on me at any given time. But uh, this is a selection of some of the stuff I've been carrying most recently. So uh, not pictured, of course, is cell phone, which is still my Samsung Galaxy S6. Still enjoying that. And of course, it's filming this video as it does very well. Um, so no complaints for that. And I think my contract is out not till next summer. So we'll see what we change to then. Probably be... Uh, S8 by then I would imagine, or S9 even, who knows, uh, seems to be a new one every time I look at it, so no complaints with the phone, uh, my wallet is still a Armitage Carry Vita EDC, I have a couple of these, this is my carbon fibre one, uh, really nifty little Kydex wallet, very simple pull the dot closure there, cash strap, holds about 8 cards I think, um, no complaints, featherweight, does what it says in the tin, um, and takes up minimal space in my front right pocket, which is where I like to carry my wallet. Also in the front right pocket is my key dangler. Um, if you've watched any of these before, you'll know that for quite a while I've been using this uh, Night Eyes uh, key rack as my kind of pocket carry. Uh, this clips over the seam of the po top of the pocket of my jeans or my shorts. And I have on there titanium key smart, just my everyday keys. Uh, this little mini EDC rechargeable LED flashlight that was sent to me by Fort Worth Glock Guy. Uh, Quantum D2, I think that's called. I forget the name of it. But very cool little light and plenty bright for the size of it. Uh, these are all in little S-Biners. And of course, my truck and car keys, which I interchange depending on what I'm doing. Or if I'm on foot, I can just take them off altogether and just have those two items. So, works really well for me. I don't see me changing this anytime soon. The only change I have made is... Uh, well, if you've if you followed my channel for a long time, you'll know that I've kind of been to and fro on knife lanyards. I like lanyards. I love tying paracord and making knots like this uh, diamond knot here. And I also like the bead thing and uh, finding different kind of stuff. There's a dragonfly copper bead on here. Um, so I like that kind of thing and that whole kind of look. But I've been to and fro on knife lanyards for a long time. And I think I've come to the conclusion they, they just annoy me. Um, I just like my knives playing. Uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2 without any lanyard is a lot nicer to carry and to use um, than if it has a lanyard on it. So that's where I'm at with knife lanyards, but I have found that putting a lanyard on here means that if you give this a quick tug, this will actually unclip off the seam of your jeans or your shorts, and you've got your keys in your hands in seconds. But at the same time, this little spring clip here keeps this secure in your pocket, so there's no risk of losing any of this stuff, which of course you don't want to lose. Um, allows you to carry a lanyard which looks pretty cool, I think, and use your bead collection. So uh, a couple other beads here. There's a Scoopy Loops large bead, not an extra large. And also this little wolf bead that I picked up on Etsy. Pretty cool, I think. So I change in between those depending on what I like. And it's just a cool little piece of gear, I think. Nerdy, if you will, but I let me into that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I keep a little lanyard on there. It just makes it easier to get your keys out, particularly if you're coming home from groceries or whatever and you've only got... Uh, one hand or your teeth to use trying to get the door open having that little lanyard on there makes a world of difference so Typically at home around the home and garden I have this little homemade pocket carrier just has three slots in it and I will have something like this set up here So we have Victorinox Cadet of course this is a red one all red which I think is a really nice look Alox Cadet and um, I'm a pioneer soldier kind of guy at heart which is if you don't know the bigger model uh, a little chunkier and longer and has beefier tools on it but the cadet more and more is, i'm finding it's just kind of filling all the roles that i need um so i've been carrying this a lot it has of course main blade uh cap lifter and large flathead screwdriver and little wire crimper stripper it has can opener which i never use but it has a small flathead on there which is quite useful so if this is in your pocket around the house there's not many things that it can accomplish a uh, small nail file and nail picker come poker tool. But those basic tools I find accomplish pretty much all the, all the jobs I have around the house. And of course the main job it does is that. So 
Um, in terms, if you just want a bottle opener in your pocket that's also a backup blade, you can do a hell of a lot worse than the Cadet because for its size and weight, uh, it really packs, packs a pretty good tool set. So in combination with that, I will usually have Victorinox Classic. This is an Alox Classic. And uh, this, of course, is in there for the scissors. Now, scissors are very useful for small snipping tasks, threads, and so on. So it is nice to have a small pair of scissors with you, even though uh, obviously you're not going to get a whole lot of work done with those, but they are very useful for, for those little tasks where a small blade or scissors is more useful than a larger blade or even a folding knife like this. So usually for the size and weight, it doesn't hurt too much to carry something like that. Um, more and more I'm finding I'm carrying a pen and there's going to be a video on this soon, a mini collection video uh, starting to build up a collection of these Lamy fountain pens. Um, if you don't know about them, they're, they're fairly low cost but quite high quality, um, very functional German made fountain pens. So this is one of my Lamy's, this is an all matte black version, black ink in it and I think this is a fine point, no it's a medium. So we've got to focus where you can see there, Lamy medium on the nib. Okay, and black ink in the window. So usually I have something like that. There's one of them. Or if I'm out and about, sometimes I'll just drop the cadet in my pocket and use this little case that I picked up to carry one of my Lamy's as well. And in here we have a neon green. It's the most recent acquisition. Pretty cool color, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a video on these soon because I love these pens and, and the collection is growing week by week, so Time to do a mini collection video thing and show you guys what I've picked up so far. This one is a silver nib on it, of course, and this one is a fine point. So very cool pens. We'll go into those in detail in future. And this little case is just kind of a it's kind of a felty fabric. It's very similar to the fabric that I made this uh, pocket carrier out of or EDC organizer out of, uh, but just nicely padded. And they're they're not expensive pens, so it's not something you're super worried about losing or damaging or whatever. But I do like to keep my gear in good condition. And just sliding it into that makes it a bit more functional in your pocket. It stops it rattling around. And this isn't a huge bulky item to, to get in the way of your wallet and your keys and stuff. So usually front right pocket for something like that. Um, coming to the more exciting stuff, main blades. There'll be a video coming on this soon. This is the Benchmade Bob Lum Mini Onslaught in all black. This is my most recent knife that I purchased. And one that was a bit of a surprise to me because I've been looking at lots of different knives recently and kind of getting the bug to, to pick up something new. And it was a complete surprise to me that this was the one that I decided on picking up because it wasn't really on my radar until suddenly I had a bit of an epiphany and said, uh, yeah, the Mini Onslaught is the one for me. All black I think is very cool and really cool functional little EDC blade. Not super large. Let me put it in comparison with a blade that a lot of you will be familiar with, the Paramilitary 2. You can see fairly comparable in size, cutting length, handle size, a little thicker, but it does have this kind of uh, beveling or curving to the handle, um, so it means it's a fairly comfortable pocket carry, uh, very easy deployment of course with a spidey hole style there, and also the access lock is true, tried and tested and trusted I would guess. Um, so very cool EDC blade, not going to go into too much detail on that because there will be a full review coming. And of course the Paramilitary 2 is the other main blade that I've been kind of uh, alternating with recently. Bit of a classic and of course many of you will have experience with this and know that for EDC tasks, food prep, uh, everyday cutting, whatever it is, you can, do, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with the Paramilitary 2. This is the Digicam satin blade version of course. Love that, might pick up another one at some point, but of course there's a whole list of other things I need to get through before I, I come to duplicating the, the paramilitary. So, um, In addition to the tiny little uh, keychain torch I have here, I have carried a few other things recently. Um, someone dubbed me uh, everyday flashlight guy recently and I do get a lot of flashlights coming in from people to test and review. So I do have a lot of choice and it's hard not to carry some of them because some of them I like very much indeed. Some not so much, but some very much indeed. And this is one of them. This is a Through Night Archer uh, V3. Uh, this is a single uh, AA cell light. Uh, very capable of light. I have a full review on this. I'll try and leave the link in the description or you can search my channel for it. Um, really like this because it has tail activation for power. You can see there it's on uh, Firefly, but it has this really neat little side switch for changing between the modes. It is a little bulkier than I prefer for an EDC light being a AA. 
as opposed to a AAA cell. Um, but it's really, really capable and it's a really nice solid little light. Uh, it just feels good to use. So I have been alternating with that a little bit. And, oops, where to turn that one off. And also this little Lumen Top uh, AAA that I was sent. Very slim little package, very cool looking little light. Uh, you can see nice knurling on there. Uh, really, very nice snappy little pocket clip. Tail switch on this one, tail clicker. And just a little AAA LED. Oops. I don't think I, I think I took the battery out of that one to put it in another one. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I've been using that off and on as well in between the other things. AAA light there. So that one too. And last but not least, Zippo. Uh, polish this up a little bit. These uh, plain chrome ones just kind of uh, attract fingerprints like nobody's business. But you can see there, uh, just plain Zippo. And those again for everyday use and, and pocket carry and just being a cool item to have in your pocket to play with, uh, hard to beat the original Zippo. So I think that about wraps it up, guys. Uh, I don't have any comedy items for you this month, I'm afraid. Um, there's nothing lying around here that I can throw in. Uh, but that's about it for, for what I've been carrying recently. And I will come back with another update when things change or if there's anything interesting comes in. But until then, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions about any of the gear that I show uh, or you want me to kind of give you a bit more of my opinion on it or whether you should buy this, that or the other, please do leave comments because I love that stuff. And although I'm not always the quickest to reply at the moment because I'm pretty busy with work and, and other things, I'm trying to get back more to making videos and posting on Instagram uh, at Everyday Knife Guy. And I will be trying to do more of that as we come into late summer and fall and winter. Uh, so yeah, I, I do like the discussion. So please do ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them. So again, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Cheers.